Welcome back to Lippy Logic at the Lippy Lounge. My name is Dr. David Amron, and this is an educational series about lipedema. Today's segment is going to look at genetics, family history for lipedema. The gene for lipedema has actually been recently found, which is an exciting thing. It's not yet used clinically for diagnosis, though. But lipedema is virtually always genetically inherited. I will, I will say that when I do a consultation with patients, part of what I'm doing in terms of questions I'm asking is about family history. And like I mentioned, you can almost always find a family history for lipedema. I would say in over 95% of patients that I, that I interview. The family history is um, something called autosomal dominant. We're going to talk about this. But lipedema will typically begin to manifest itself and present at puberty or right around puberty. Um, and it is picked up from a parent, the gene. Like I mentioned, we call this autosomal dominant, that is passed directly from a parent to an offspring. But it's not always just the mother's side of the family. In equal frequency, in an autosomal dominant pattern, the gene is carried by the father. So males are carrying the gene, interestingly enough, as frequently as women do, but it's rarely expressed in males. So you will generally need to look at the females on the father's side of the family if the father is not expressing it. That said, I have done surgery in about eight or ten males who actually are presenting with signs of lipedema, with pain, with that characteristic fullness. But most of the time they're not. So you'll look at the sisters, you'll look at the father's mother, it might even skip a generation if the father's father has it, and you've got to look back two generations to find it. When it's on the mother's side, and picking up from the mother, generally the mother is showing signs of lipedema. So again, we call this pattern of inheritance autosomal dominance. Lipedema is almost always genetically inherited um, in ways that a person cannot control, obviously. And we're going to talk about other strategic ways to prevent the disease. A lot of uh, parents or mothers that have been diagnosed with lipedema are concerned about their offspring picking it up. The reality is there's a 50% chance of passing it down to an offspring, again, a daughter or a son. Uh, if you're concerned about this, you want to find out more information, or if your children want to actually look to understand it, there's a section on the site that we have that goes into more detail about this. But my name is Dr. David Amron. Thank you for tuning in today to Lippy Logic at the Lippy Lounge.